Hello and welcome to Chartmill. In this video I would like to share with you five different screens which will help you to find the best short setups when using the Chartmill stock screener. Be aware, if you have no or very little experience with shorting stocks or any other financial product that allows shorting, it is vitally important to have a sound knowledge what shorting is. Sure, you can make large profits by shorting stocks, but remember, losses can quickly and indefinitely increase if you don't know what you are doing. In this article, in our documentation section, you can find an introductory article on shorting stocks. And in the description below, I will leave a link to the article. It is strongly advised for novice traders to read this document first. And even for slightly more advanced investors who has no experience whatsoever with short positions should read this article before even considering to go short on any particular stock. The best way to find some predefined short screens is by using the trading ideas tab in the left menu of the home page. Select short only and if you wish to you can also choose a specific category. I am not going to do that right now. For the purpose of this video I will however only select the chart mill screens. That gives me a total of five different screens that provide potential short setups. Four of them are shown in this video. The screen large players sell is not a part of this video. It's a very specific screen which takes a bit more time to explain so I will make a separate video for this one. If you press the more info button and then select screen settings you will see all the individual filters that were used to get to the screen. For the screen stocks nearing support line for example only US shares were selected with a minimum price of $5 and an average daily volume of more than 500,000 shares measured over the last 50 trading days. ETFs are excluded. Furthermore, the screen specifies that the support level identified by Chartmill must be valid for a minimum of 50 trading days. In addition, the most recent closing price may not exceed the support level by more than 3%. The last filter, support strength minimum 4, specifies that the support line has been tested at least 4 times in the past. To run the screen, just press the blue button. This first screen, stocks nearing support line, looks for shares whose price is close to a support level. When the price falls through that support, it creates a potentially interesting short setup. For your information, all support and resistance lines visible on these charts are automatically generated by our stock screener chart mill. In the case of Fiat Chrysler shares, there is an upward trend channel where the price is now at the bottom. However, if price falls under the current swing low, this could be a good opportunity for a short entry. As far as Hostess Brands is concerned, the chart shows the formation of a symmetrical triangle where the price fluctuates. The stock becomes interesting as a possible short setup if today or tomorrow the price suddenly falls below the green upward trend line. The filters of the screen that I have just explained can be found here in the top right corner of the screen. This screen currently only gives three results, but by lowering, for example, the average volume from 500 to 300,000 shares, you get four candidates. Each screen can therefore be adjusted because each filter can be deleted, changed or added to better suit your own way of trading. A second option that can provide nice short candidates is the beer flag screen. A beer flag is set after the price has fallen significantly. The price then evolves sideways and even seems to recover somewhat. This price drop, in combination with a slight upturn in the stock price, forms the well-known beer flag pattern. The idea is that when the flag pattern is suddenly broken with a significant downward movement, it is possible to go short, speculating on a further decline in price. A remarkable feature of this screen is that chart mill automatically draws the flag pattern on the chart. And as with the first screen, you can adjust all the filters individually. The short squeeze play setup screen is the next one to appear in this video. This screen is similar to the beer flag screen, but mainly looks for shares that consolidate into a narrow bandwidth after an initial decline. The characteristics of the typical flag pattern are not necessary here. Normally, you will find a bit more short setups with this filter than with the beer flag screen, because there is no typical beer flag pattern required. For those who prefer to trade on the somewhat larger timeframes, there is this interesting short screen based on weekly charts. 
the weekly Chartmill channel breakdown. And this screen uses the Chartmill channels concept to select potential short candidates. A Chartmill channel is a horizontal channel wherein prices move sideways. The top side, in red, is called the upper Chartmill channel, UCC, whereas the bottom side is called the lower Chartmill channel, LCC. In contrary to the well-known Dunkian channels, these Chartmill channels don't require extra parameters. Chartmill channels automatically calculate the most optimal value by looking for an optimum between as long as possible and as small as possible. In that way, channels can be defined more objectively. Now, for most of our screens, detailed information is available in our documentation center. Just type one or more words in the search bar and Chartmill will give you an overview of all the articles related to your search. This article, for example, gives a detailed explanation of the concept of Chartmill channels. By the way, this article was published some time ago in the magazine Technical Analysis of Stocks and Commodities. However, the principles of these channels developed in-house still apply. A not so obvious way to look for short candidates is to use the Chartmill Technical and Setup Rating, which are found in the Analyzer tab. These were initially developed to select long candidates, but you might as well use them to track down short setups. The screen is then used to look for shares that are about to break out. We use a filter where we use a low technical rating, 4 out of 10, but a quite high setup rating, 7 out of 10. The low technical rating produces candidates which are, in a lot of cases, in a downtrend. The high setup score, on the other hand, forces the Chartman algorithm to search for candidates who are about to break out. And the combination of these two elements, therefore, ensures that we get shares that seems to be recovering in a general downtrend. The resistance levels that Chartmill automatically draws are indications of where there may be short opportunities and where you can set a short stop loss. In this way, you will quickly have a number of low-risk short candidates at your disposal. The screens featured in this video are also described in an article on the website and I will place a link in the description below. This will give you quick access to the screens used in this video. I would like to end this episode with a few general guidelines when using these short setup screens. The results provided by Chartmill are a very good foundation to start selecting short candidates, but in the end it is up to you to decide which of the setups are worthy enough to use effectively. No matter how good the screens are and how attractive the setups look, don't expect that you will suddenly only get candidates who make a profit. Such a thing is simply impossible either with Chartmill or with any other screener. The general market conditions play a very important role in this. It can happen that all short setups work well, if the market stays extremely negative, for example. But it can also happen that the sentiment suddenly reverses and all your short setups are simply stopped out in a blink of an eye. But that's fine. Loss positions are inherent in any trading strategy. Just make sure the losers stay small. So please use a real stop loss in your trading platform and don't rely on mental stop losses. Besides that, make sure that your position sizing is adjusted to your available trading capital. There is plenty of information available on Chartmill on that subject as well that is worth discovering. I refer again to our extensive documentation section on the website. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you all for watching and if you like this video be sure to click the on the like button and don't forget the notification bell. This way you'll be the first to know about new videos. See you next time. Trade safe.